Hello everyone, uh, right now I'm going to be doing my first ever Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Um, I've been looking forward to doing a few Yu-Gi-Oh! videos for a long time. Uh, however, I'm just getting around to do my first one. I have a list of so many videos I want to make, and this was just on the bottom of that list. So, inside this case, this case is actually meant for, uh, I believe, like a Nintendo DS Lite or something, but I use it for cards. So... Um, all I'm going to be doing today is showing you my main deck. Uh, I run a burn deck, um, which is my favorite favorite deck to use. Uh, highly effective, pretty affordable. You can build this deck. All cards bought from trollandtoad.com for about $80, 80 to $100. So that's not too bad for a good deck. Um, here's my main deck. I keep dice and coins and all kinds of stuff, a little rule book, my side deck, all that stuff in this box. We'll get to that later. Right now I just want to show you my main deck. Um, I call this an absolute burn deck because it's not a stall burn, it's not a chain burn, nothing like that. It's just a flat out burn deck. Alright, so I'm running three four star Ladybug of Doom. Uh, flip effect, destroy all face up level four monsters on your opponent's side of the field. 800 attack, 1200 defense. Three Gear Golem the Moving Fortress. Level 4, Machine Effect, once per turn during your main phase 1 by paying 800 life points. Uh, this card can attack your opponent directly this turn. 800, 2200. 3, Desk Koalas, Flip Effect, I'm trying to get to focus on it. But, uh, Flip Effect, inflict 400 damage to your opponent for each card in their hand. 1100, Attack. 1100 attack, 1800 defense, level 3. 3, Marshmallow. I got these shiny ones, um, just because they're so cool, I think. <laughs> I like them a lot better than the regular non-holographic ones. I believe these are, uh, I want to say, super rare. Um, there are so many rarities in Yu-Gi-Oh that, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I really don't know what this is. I'm going to say super. Um... Anyways, fairy effect. Flip effect. The controller of a monster that attacks this face down card takes a thousand damage after damage calculation. This card cannot be destroyed by battle. Damage calculation is applied normally. 300 attack, 500 defense. So this is amazing. This card is in uh, face down position. A card attacks it. It takes a thousand uh, damage. The controller of the monster, it's a thousand direct damage pretty much to their life points for attacking this face down, and this card can't be destroyed by battle. So this is on the field, someone attacks it, can't be destroyed, boom, a thousand life points, gone. Three of those, I love that card. <coughs> um, three stealth birds, level three, winged beast effect. Once per turn during your main phase, you can flip this card into face down defense position. When this card is flipped, summoned, inflict a thousand damage to your opponent. So, once per turn during my main phase, I can flip this into face down defense position. Boom, flip summon it, a thousand direct damage to my opponent. 700 attack, 1700 defense. Here we go. Level 3. Three of those. Uh, what else? Three amoeba, three amoebas. Um, aqua effect. When this card is face up on the field and control shifts to your opponent, inflict 2,000 points of direct damage to your opponent's life points. This effect can only be used once as long as this card remains face up on the field. 300 attack, 350 defense. So when this is face up on the field, I place this and it's the end of my turn. Um, and it's now my opponent's turn. 200 or 2,000. I'm sorry, 2,000 points of direct damage to my opponent. So that's amazing. Uh, you can only use it once as long as it's on the field, but I got three of them, so I'm good with that. Once per each card. What do I got here? Uh, one meteor flare. Activate by sending two cards from your hand to the graveyard while your opponent has more than 3,000 life points. Inflict 2,000 damage to your opponent. If this card is in the graveyard, 
you can add it to your hand instead of conducting your normal draw phase. So this is awesome. If they have 3,000 points or more, throw this down, 2,000 damage to them. Then instead of drawing a card my next turn, I can just grab this out of my graveyard, do it again, as long as i got 3,000 or more life points. So, um, three ceasefires. Flip all face down, defense position, monsters face up. Flip effects are not activated this time. Inflict 500 damage to your opponent for each uh, face up effect monster on the field. So this can really screw someone over. Three of those. Um, here's my pure burn cards, some of them, just desserts. Uh, inflict 500 points of direct damage to your opponent's life points for each monster your opponent has on the field. So if they got five monsters, that's 500 each, that's 2,500 points. If they got two monsters, that's 1,000. Got three of those, so that's awesome. Running three secret barrels. Uh, inflict damage to your opponent's... Or inflict, dam inflict damage to your opponent equal to the total number of cards in your opponent's side of the field and your opponent's hand times 200. So if they've got you know, five cards in their hand and five on the field, then you're looking at 2,000 points of damage right there. So it's 200 damage per card on your opponent's side of the field and in your opponent's hand. That's really cool. Three gravity binds. All monsters of level four or higher cannot attack. Their positions may still be changed. All monsters in my deck are level four or less anyways. Um... And I could really probably do without most of them. They're just kind of there. Uh, but yeah, so all monsters level 4 higher can't do anything. That only affects my opponent because none of mine are level 4 or higher except for... Uh, let's see if I have any 4s. Gear Golem is 4. I could do without him. And that's it. The rest are all less than that. The rest are all uh, 1, 2, or 3. So... That's really cool. Three magic cylinders. Um, negate the attack of one monster your opponent controls and inflict damage to your opponent equal to its attack. So they go to attack me. Um, boom, summon this. Let's say their uh, monster had a thousand attack or something. Uh, that doesn't do any damage to me and it does that much damage directly to my opponent's life points. Or what if it had 2,000 or 3,000 attack? This could easily do a ton of damage. Three of those. Now, this card, these are what makes my deck. Excuse me. These are the Motion Wave Cannon. These are uh, spell cards. These are just insane. These are my favorite cards in the deck, I think. Um, send this card onto the field, or send this card on the field to the graveyard during your main phase. Inflict damage to your opponent's life points equal to the number of standby phases that have passed after this card has been activated times a thousand. So let's say, right now, I activate this card, and let's say three turns later I send this to the graveyard, that's 3,000 points of damage. Let's say I draw this first, one of these three, the very first turn, throw it down, activate it, or whatever, um, activate this card, eight turns later, discard it, and then I already won the game. That's 8,000 points of damage. So, 1,000 per turn after it's been activated. That's amazing. And I got three of those. What if I get two of these at the same time? Then, you know, that's 2,000 per turn. Or all three of them at the same time, 3,000 per turn. That means, you know, three turns, they'd be dead. Really cool. Uh, next, these are good cards. Messenger of Peace. Um, neither player can declare attacks with face-up monsters with an attack of 1,500 or more. Pay 100 life points during each of your standby phases if you do not destroy this card. So that's awesome. It only costs 100 life points per each turn to use this. And none of my guys attacks anyways are 1,500 or more, I don't believe. Uh, so, nope. So I'm set right there. Don't need to worry about that. This just stops them. Just like Gravity Bind, it makes it so they can't attack me, pretty much. One Dark Snake Syndrome. Uh, inflict damage to both players' life's life points during each of your standby phases. The first damage begins at 200 and is doubled during each of your standby phases. So, I use this. 200 points to my opponent and me. Next turn, 400 points. Next turn, 800. Next turn, 1600 to both of us. 
next gen 3200 over and over and over until one of us dies hopefully them uh so that's really neat i mean that could go either way i suppose that could backfire and kill me but with all the other burn cards in my deck i'm pretty sure that's going to take them out first one dark room of nightmare each time your opponent takes damage from a card effect except the dark dark room of nightmare inflict 300 damage to your opponent so all the other cards in my deck right now all the cards do damage to my opponent so this is out there it's uh continuous or whatever it's called it stays in the field 300 damage to my opponent from any other card doing damage to him so that's amazing three tremendous fires um inflict a thousand points of damage to your opponent's life points and 500 to you so 1,000 to my opponent, 500 to me. Uh, that's still a net gain of, of uh, you know, doing 500 points of damage. I'm satisfied with that. Uh, three, you need these. Uh, these are pretty crucial to this deck. MSTs, Mystical Sp Space Typhoons, uh, destroy one spell or trap card on the field. So if they have something that's blocking me from doing damage to them, or, you know, it's stopping my burn or slowing it down, Lay one of those, and I'll just get rid of them. Uh, three level limit area Bs. Um, all face up, level four higher monsters on the field are changed to defense position and remain in defense position as long as this card is active. So just like Gravity Bind and uh, Messenger Peace, this just stops them from attacking me, pretty much, which is great because I got two weaknesses with this deck. One is super high level strong monsters that are able to get summoned right away like before I got time to weaken my opponent those could kill me or uh, anti burns or heal decks obviously could kill me or random decks uh, luck decks where it's like all random chance and luck who wins the game so pretty much those three I guess are my weaknesses luckily not many people play those at least not very well what else we got here three poison of the old man um, select and activate one of the following effects either increase your own life points by 1200 or inflict 800 life points of damage to your opponent um, so I would just do 800 to them or who knows if I need it I'll heal 1200 three of those three swords of revealing light uh, flip all let's see Flip all face down monsters on your opponent's side of the field face up. This card remains face up on the field for three of your opponent's turns. As long as this card remains face up on the field, your opponent cannot attack. So just like all the other numerous cards, level limit in area B, gravity bind, and messenger piece, and now these, they can't attack me. This just stops them from attacking me, which is amazing, because then I can just sit there and keep throwing down cards, doing damage to them, and they can't even attack. And finally, the last cards in this deck are ukazi three ukazis inflict 800 points of direct damage to your opponent's life points this is pretty much the same thing as just desserts um so yeah this is my burn deck put these back in here uh just um an amazing deck really I do want to say I'm not up to date on the ban list I don't really follow the ban list um, I've never really paid attention to it I mean I've looked at it a few times I know this isn't up to date with it I'm pretty sure swords are now uh, I don't think they're banned I think they're limited to one or two per deck um, same with some of the other cards wave motion cannons might be limited or something I'm not really positive but considering that I never really use the band or the ban list anyways, um, we never really play by those rules when I play. We just use any cards we want, regardless of the ban list. So this is it. Um, let's count these cards. I'm not exactly sure how many cards are in this deck. So let's see.
60, exactly 60 cards in this deck. So I did a horrible job of throwing these into into the deck. <laughs> okay. Anyways, that was it for me. Um, oh, you know what? I almost forgot. Let me show you my little side deck here. Actually, um, I think it's called the extra deck or whatever. In between, in between each duel, uh, or in between each match, you can switch cards out. I think it's called the extra deck, not the side deck. But um, Flash of the Forbidden Spell. Activate only when all of your opponent's monster card zones are occupied by monsters. Destroy all monsters on your opponent's side of the field. Dark Hole. Destroy all monsters on the field. Change of Heart. Select and control one opposing monster, regardless of position on the field, till the end of the turn. Monster Reborn. Select one monster card from either your opponent's or your own graveyard and place it in the field under your control, in attack or defense position. This, cons this is considered a special summon. Uh, three meter force or mirror force rather activate only when an opponent's monster declares an attack destroy all attack position monsters your opponent controls I think these are uh, limited or banned or semi-limited or something like that however I don't really give a shit so they're still in here um, one dust tornado destroy one spell or trap card on your opponent's side of the field you can then set one or trap one spell or trap card of your own so that's cool that's like uh, like MST, except for you can also set one of your own. Um, it's pretty neat. Spellbinding Circle. Uh, select one monster your opponent controls. It cannot attack or change its battle position. When that monster is destroyed, destroy this card. So that's cool also. Straight Flush. Activate only when all your opponent's spell and trap card zones are occupied. Destroy all cards in your opponent's spell and trap card zones. So this is just like Flash the Forbidden Spell, except for this is for spell and traps, this is for monsters. One Atomic Firefly, 100 attack, 200 defense, level 1, insect effect. When this face-up card on the field attacks, or is attacked, and is destroyed as a result of battle, that player who destroyed it takes 1,000 points of damage. So that's pretty cool. One Watt Pheasant, 1,000 uh, attack, 800 defense. Level 4, Thunder Effect. This card can attack your opponent directly. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent directly as a result of an attack, select one face-up monster on the field and remove it from play until the end phase of turn of that turn. So that's pretty cool. You can attack directly. That's a thousand attack. Um, one Brain Jacker, Flip Effect. Uh, you equip this card to a monster on your opponent's side of the field and treat it as an equip card. Uh, take control of the monster that is equipped with this card. Increase the opponent's life points by 500 points during each of his or her standby phases. Um, now, let's see. Since it says increase your opponent's life points by 500, I wonder, I'm not positive of the card rulings, because this is on my opponent's monster. When it says take control, does their monster come to my side of the field, or does it stay on their side? That's one thing I'm not really sure about. Because it says increases your opponent's life points by 500 during each of his or standby phases. It probably means my opponent, it increases their life points. In which case, this wouldn't be that useful. This would be going against you know the, the objective of this deck. So I'm going to have to look into that. That's interesting. Uh, one Solar Flare Dragon. Um... This card cannot be attacked if there is another pyro-type monster on your side of the field. This card inflicts 500 points of damage to your opponent's life points during the end phase of this turn. Or of your turn. So that's pretty cool. 1500 attack, 1000 defense, level 4. And the very last of my 15 cards is Lava Golem. Uh, what level is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Level 8. Uh, 3000 attack, 2500 defense. Fiend Effect. This card cannot be normal summoned or set. This card can only be special summoned to your opponent's side of the field by attributing two monsters they control. You cannot normal summon or set the turn you special summon this card. Uh, the controller takes a thousand damage during each, uh, during each of his or her standby phases. So I destroy two of my opponent's cards, put this on their side of the field under their control so they can attack me with it. It is a fairly powerful creature, monster. However, uh, they take a thousand points of uh, direct damage to their life points each turn. So, 
this would be good to use if I had a marshmallow on, on the field and they just kept attacking it. Marshmallow can't die because of battle, so they'd be stuck. They'd just keep taking 1,000 damage, keep attacking it, um, and there's nothing they could do about it. So, again, this is my burn deck, my actual uh, main deck, and my extra deck, side deck, whatever that's called. I don't really know. I think it's my extra deck, but 15 cards, 60 cards. Alright, so this is my pretty much first Yu-Gi-Oh deck that I have completely customly built um, that's effective. I have a bunch of other decks that aren't that good, some I just kind of experimented with. Um, none of this was net decking. I made this entire thing, both decks, complete me, completely by myself on my own. Um, so pretty much what I'm asking you guys to do now is just criticize me about this deck. Tell me what you would change. Rate it 1 to 10 or whatever. Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? What would you take out? What would you put in? Um, if I said anything wrong, please correct me. I'm pretty new to Yu-Gi-Oh! Haven't really played a whole lot, but I'm looking forward to in the future. And this is the deck I plan on using. Alright, well thank you for watching.